Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be trying on a bunch of clothes from honeybum.com. I'm so excited, you guys. Let me tell you something. I'm just gonna be completely upright and upright and honest, I don't know. <laughs> Honeybum did send me these clothes, which was something super exciting for me because I actually have been following them on Instagram for quite a while now, so for them to want to send me some of their items, I was really excited, but they actually offered me an affiliate link or an affiliate code so that you can make a certain percent on anyone who buys from your links. And I basically replied and I was like, listen, I really, really wanna try your clothes and I know some of my subscribers have been asking for me to try your items, so I'm totally down for that, but I'm not going to do an affiliate code just because to viewers, sometimes that looks like you're jeopardizing your integrity, which I don't always think is actually the case. Lots of people can have affiliate codes and still give an honest opinion, and I think I could do that. I want you guys to trust that I'm being honest, not trying to get like any personal gain. So, that was like a lot of big words. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want you guys to think I'm going to give a not honest opinion when I'm sent items. Totally not the case. I will always give an honest opinion. And even if one day in the future I have an affiliate code, you can trust that it will always be an honest opinion. I am not going to suggest something to you guys that isn't great. I'm not going to do that. But anyways, with that disclaimer out of the way, I hope you guys are okay with that. So a few of you guys have been asking me about Honeybum, so I'm really excited to try this stuff out. And I actually have been a fan, but I've never tried any of their clothing. So I've just been like a fan of their Instagram pictures because all their models are beautiful. So <laughs> also if you're like Mia, you didn't actually spend this amount of money on this brand. You can't put that title. It's my series, I wanna put the title. Please just let me. But okay, so here is the bag of items and I actually bought Rubbermaids to put everything into, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here are all the items I have to try on. I can't wait. Let's see if these items are as good as they look in their Instagram pictures. Let's give them a try. Let's begin. I'm sorry, I, I'm just gonna be completely honest here. I think that these Rubbermaids were a good investment to be able to hold everything in these. Is anyone excited? No? Okay. First thing I wanna try is jumping out at me. It's this sequin two-piece dress. I'm excited. I saw this on their website and I was like, where would I wear that? And then I was like, it doesn't matter, you need it. So I'm curious to see if the sequins are like super itchy or anything. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here is the top. It's those sequins that you can like, wait, is it? Oh, it's side to side. And then there is this mid-length skirt. Okay. And the sequins actually feel pretty soft. Hopefully they're not really itchy on. Let's try this one on. I bet you guys are super surprised that I'm wearing sweatpants. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a lot. Okay, so here is this two-piece on. The bottoms go just a little bit past the knees. I always have trouble showing my full outfit, but there it is. Just goes right past the knees. I really like this type of silhouette, like with the long skirt. So it's like this rose gold color, and then look at this. Are you shook? I am so shook. I am shook. Sorry, that was a little bit crazy. Like imagine if you had the whole front silver and then you turned around and it's like gold. So I got everything in a size small and this definitely fits true to a size small. It's not gapping anywhere. Sometimes I have an issue with gapping right at the back, but this one is fitting me good. If I wore this anywhere, I would never stop doing this. Like this is so cool. This set isn't itchy anywhere. The only thing where I feel a little bit of irritation is down here because you can't really help yourself but have your arm against the sequins. And these sequins aren't super scratchy or anything, but I just have really sensitive skin so that's gonna irritate my skin a little bit, but. Okay, so far I'm freaking in love with this set. I really hope in the near future I have somewhere where I can actually wear this because this needs to be seen by the public. I guess this video is showing it to the public. Here it is. Okay, so this is like this really pretty light, light nude color. Uh, it's like an off-white sort of thing and it ties up in the front and it looks like it has like these really flared sleeves. Okay, let's put this on. I'm gonna throw on some jeans just to make this look a little bit more acceptable. Okay, so here is this shirt on. So I wrapped it around a few times around my waist just because there was enough room to do so. I think this color would look absolutely amazing on a deeper skin tone. On me, it looks 
not bad but i mean on a deeper skin tone i think this would look so stunning this fabric is really super comfortable it's not like athletic stretchy but it is like a stretchy kind of like spandexy feeling but it doesn't feel cheap or anything it just feels kind of comfortable i think with these black jeans and like a pair of like hot pink heels could you picture that that would be a look just another item that i want to wear out but i don't know where i'll wear because i never leave my house mm. yeah i think this shirt is super cute I'm happy so far. Okay, next we're gonna try this jean skirt. I'm excited to see this because if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I'm always on the hunt for a jean skirt that fits me good. I don't know what it is. Jean skirts just don't want to fit me. So come on, honey bum. Fit me good. I don't think it will. I think it'll be too big. I got it in a size small. Okay, you guys, so I have the skirt on. It's a cute length. I like the rips, but it's way too big even if i wore it like around my hips it's still quite big like it could just slip off and i don't think it's supposed to be worn this low because it looks kind of awkward that low i think if you are a little bit smaller that you should probably get like an extra small if they offer that just because it is a lot too big next item we have to try on is this shirt oh no it's a dress and it's green oh my goodness this is really soft I thought this was gonna be like a t-shirt material, but it's actually a little bit thicker and very soft. What is this? Does it say? <laughs> it's got like this fleecy. Anyways, okay. So this is a green, army green dress and it's kind of like a scoopy on the bottom. I'm excited to see what this looks like on. Okay, let's try this on. Okay, so here is this green dress on. The idea I actually had for this dress when I saw it online was to wear it with like a jean jacket and Adidas runners, kind of be like a casual, comfortable dress to wear in the summer, fall time. And I do like it, it's really, really soft. I think I probably could have honestly got an extra small and made it like a really tight bodycon. A little bit short, just because it does scoop up at the sides, but of course it then scoops down again at the booty so you wouldn't have to worry about like flashing anyone. I don't really remember what this one is. It's light pink. I love this color. You guys know I love this color. What is this? Oh, it's a two-piece. Here is the top. It's got these stripy lines that are see-through. Oh, yes. Okay. It's a mid-length, which I like, so it'll probably go right below my knees. I love this color. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm excited to try this on. You'll probably be able to see my bra straps because I have blue bra straps but okay let's try this okay so here is this dress on it fits almost the exact same as the sparkly sequin two-piece it goes right to my knees it fits me freaking like a glove what i usually don't have good luck with buying clothing it usually doesn't fit me very well because i'm in odd shape i really really love this top i absolutely love long sleeves on dress up type things because wearing a sleeve just makes me feel so much more comfortable. It all fits me like a glove. You wouldn't really be able to wear a bra like this. You would maybe have to wear like a sticky bra or none. This actually might be my favorite thing so far. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know. Okay, next item I'm gonna try on is this red thing. What is this? What? Oh, this is a bodysuit. Okay, so it's a off-the-shoulder red bodysuit, and it has these little tie-ups in the side. All this fabric is, I think, just like a really soft cotton. Okay, so it's not a thong. It's a full boot, which sometimes gives you the panty line, but we'll see. Let's put this on. I'm excited. Love red. Okay, so here is this shirt on. Super, super soft. Fits me good. The sleeves could be like an inch longer, but... I just have weirdly long limbs. These high-waisted pants are kind of muffling it a little bit because down by the sides, there's this little knot right here. So if you wore something low risen, it would show that and it would be like a really cute detailing. I think the fabric is thin enough that it's not really showing a panty line. You would have to look really close and if anybody's that close, you tell them to get away. Next item we got is this, it looks like velvet. It's one of those twist up tops again. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. I'm getting like lightheaded. Okay, I'm gonna throw this off. I have to get my bodysuit off. All right, here is this shirt on. Same idea as the last tie-up one, except this one is velvet and purple. It is so, so soft. 
This would definitely be like something I would wear to a Christmas party, even though it's not red, but like, it's pretty festive feeling. My biggest fear of like wearing these is that someone will pull it and it'll just, and I'll just be like, <laughs> but I don't think anyone will do that. And if they do, that's just bad news. Distance yourself. I'm just gonna say it. I've been pretty impressed with a lot of the clothes I've tried so far, minus the jean skirt that didn't fit me, but everything has been pretty freaking decent. So next shirt I'm so excited about because I wanted to buy this Calvin Klein shirt that had this like detailing as straps, but I was like, didn't have enough money. So this is like inspired by that. I don't even think it is. I think other brands do it, but I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, this is a bodysuit and this one actually is the thong one. So we will not have panty lines and on the side, it's got this crisscrossing. Let's try this on. I hope it's not see-through since it is white. I guess we'll see. Okay, here is this top on. As you can see, you can kind of see my blue bra underneath. So might be a smart idea to wear a nude bra. It's not really hiding my bra straps. So I think I would wear a strapless nude bra if I was gonna wear this out. Just because like we need to keep up the illusion that girls don't wear bras, like. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Once again, it's got this like detailing on the side that I'm covering up a little bit. I don't know what it is about these like strap things that I think is so cool, but I'm planning on making merch really soon and I kind of wanted to have some shirts have something like this. <laughs> okay, and with this, I have these pants to try with it. Here they are, they're red. The white stripe, oh, please fit. Here are these pants on. I buttoned them up just a little bit, not all the way. Like this is honestly what like a baddie wears. <laughs> and I'm just like over here like, hi, how are you? They go a little bit past my feet. So if you're a little taller than me, they would still fit you. Uh, I'm five foot five inches. We are on to the last item. Don't get shook yet, you guys. You know we cannot have a haul without a freaking sweatpants set. Okay, so here are the bottoms. It is this, they're inside out, okay. Not okay. Wait, no they're not. Now they're inside out. Hold on a minute. Is this one of those high fashion, looks inside out but isn't inside out trickeries? It is! So it's like the inside is the outside. And like the tag is clearly in the inside. It says honey on the front. Let's try this on. I'm gonna keep an open mind. I'm a little bit shook up and confused, but let's try this. So here is what it looks like on. The sweater is a little bit cropped and the pants are like a little bit high-waisted, not completely. Let's go in to my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, so that has been me trying on a bunch of clothes from Honeybum. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And to the people who asked for this video, I hope it lived up to your expectations. I hope you guys have a better understanding of their clothing, the quality. Honestly, quality throughout this entire video was not an issue. The only issue was the sizing on a few fronts. The prices aren't super, super inexpensive, but they're not really high, so I think it's a fair price. Usually in these types of videos, I try really questionable websites, but in this case, it was more of a legit website. It had a lot of followers and everything. So if there's any websites like this one that you want me to try, make sure to comment them down below and I'll make sure to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!